We're recording. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Welcome everyone this Wednesday evening, March 13th, we're almost, uh, I'm sorry, March 15th, we're almost halfway through Lent, and uh, we are uh, going to be more than halfway after we're done tonight, more than halfway through our Lenten lectures, or Wednesday evening Lenten lectures, which are on the theme of modern heresies. We've already covered, number one, secularism, our first week. Number two, humanism, which was our topic last week. And tonight we're going to cover rationalism. Uh, and But we, before we do that, we'll just do a quick review of our topic from last week about humanism, which was, as we said, any system or mode of thought of action in which human interests, values, and dignity predominate. And as a philosophy, humanism has a variety uh, of ethical theory and practice that emphasizes reason, scientific inquiry, and human fulfillment in the natural world, and often rejects the importance of belief in God. We, took, we talked about the American Humanist Association, which is a, one of the bigger, I'm sure, one of the bigger uh, groups that, that humanists can be a member of. And, champion their cause, and their, their motto is good without a God. That's their motto. We talked a little bit about agnosticism, uh, which is an intellectual doctrine or attitude affirming the uncertainty of all claims to ultimate knowledge. As well, it is a denial of knowledge about whether there is or is not a God. An agnostic insists that it is impossible to prove that there is no God, and it is impossible to prove that there is a God. I always like to think of the agnosticism as the cop-out philosophy. Uh, but we did talk about how God has, has elevated humanity by uh, becoming incarnate as a human person in, in the person of Jesus Christ. Uh, in other words, uh, taking on by becoming a man, taking on the whole of humanity to save it, to save humanity, to show us how to live as human beings. And we remember that St. Athanasius the Great said, God became man so that man might become God. And not only did God take on our humanity, he took on every aspect of it, its experiences, including suffering and death. By the resurrection of Christ, God saved humanity from the dead end of death. When Christ ascended from earth into heaven, Jesus raised humanity higher than it had ever been before, bringing it with him to the Godhead when he sat at the right hand of God the Father. So, so Christianity is the true humanism, if you will. So tonight, let's talk about rationalism. Rationalism is the principle or habit of accepting reason as the supreme authority in matters of opinion, belief, or conduct. And as a philosophy, the doctrine that reason alone is a source of knowledge and is independent of experience. So remember last week we talked about humanism as uh, empiricism, in other words, uh, you know things by experiencing them. And we talked the previous week about the three different epistemologies, the ways of knowing as pre-modern, modern, and post-modern. Pre-modern was uh, revealed knowledge, usually f uh, from a god or through the church or other kind of traditional authority figures. Modern was knowing things, as I said, through empiricism, through the experience of the senses, and, uh, and this is where in modernism is you have the elevation of, of science as a way of knowing. And then postmodernism would be uh, perhaps some, some would say a bridge between of both pre-modern and modern, but postmodern really the, the source of authority is the own the person themselves. 